have to see her. Oh my god. The monster cued in me saying this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I actually was recommended to react to this um by I don't know if it was Z Fanatic or if it was Rice. I don't know which one, but uh we're gonna react to this one actually because this is the same person that made ruthlessness, so why the heck would we not? You know what I'm saying? Thunderbringer. I, they upset the sun god. The sun god kind of looks like the goddamn Poseidon, but I think it's because the art style. And I haven't seen it in a while, so it's probably more of a me problem. Here we go. Neil is the creator of this guy. So make sure you check out the link in the description to go check them out. Give like and show them love. Neil for sure? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, bro. Yeah, Ruthless, I think, was the first video we watched of Epic the Musical. Shout out to Z Fanatic for introducing it to us, man. Without them, we wouldn't have this reaction series. So, even Act 14, shout to them. Pride is a damsel in distress. Then you come through talking about pride, okay. Hiding away where only I can undress her. Trial she cannot to confess. In the end, it's all the same once I apply all the pressure. Thunder And doesn't Zeus control thunder? That's not the sun god. the one who makes her kingdom fall. Lightning wield her, use and yield her. Show her what she can't conceal. For true nature will be revealed. Tell me, Odysseus, if I were to make you choose the lives of your men and crew. Since hunger was far too great, I wonder who takes the weight of the damned and suffer a gruesome fate to the Thunderbringer here. I love the contrast here, chat. The Cyclops is obviously supposed to be like a kid, right? And he got one of his friends killed and he crashes out. He's like, Wah! I can kill everyone! <laughs> the Thunder, or well, whatever you want, the Thunderbringer, I guess we'll just say that. Uh, Sun God sent his father Zeus. GG's. Okay. Thank you. That was good lore right there. Zeus, all right, who is obviously not a little kid, had one of uh the one of the things he likes, obviously, killed, right? Which the Sun God was like, oh, he likes this, blah, blah, get his out. He's taking it from a very dominant perspective. He's not being childish with it. He's just like being meticulous, I guess you could say, if that's the word to use. We're just like, tell me, which which one of you guys who, who would sacrifice their life? This is a very interesting thing you've decided to do here. He's being very like uh, diplomatic about it, right? He's not like just crashing out. He's just like, what's happening here, huh? What's up? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about how you guys have just doomed yourselves like idiots. It's like, like he's very much looking down on them. Now your father. His kind of friend because we're talking about Helios and Apollo. Okay, here we go. time for you have passed your prime, sublime you for your act of crime. They're freaking out. Meanwhile, he's a sinner. Oh, he is telling them to choose. Someone's gotta die today, and you have got the final say. This is this is troublesome because if you're in his position, you may say your men should just die. At the end of the day, your men were already like not having hope in you, right? And the luck runs out, right? They were just doubting him, and then they also opened the bag when he said not to. I could say he made some questionable decisions to make them doubt him, sure. But still, you gotta like rely on your homies, man. You can't go behind their back, right? Brother's never gone behind his homie's back except for Scylla, and that's because it went to that point. So, technically, any normal person here would kill his crew, all right? But if you're the truest of true captain and you never give up on your platoon, then he takes the fall here. You? <laughs> I see this as a win-win. For your crew. Please don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. He's choosing... WAIT CHAT! 
now this is good as well. When does a man become a monster, right? It's playing that right now. This is fire as well, because didn't he just have to make this a choice at the beginning of the whole series? And wasn't it Zeus talking to him? I may be wrong, but I swear Zeus is the one that told him to throw the baby off the ledge or his men would end up dying because uh, the baby would come back for revenge. Bars. Now he's kind of telling them to do the same thing, right? Kill your men or you die. It's still, it's, it's different, right? Because he obviously not everyone dies. Got, got, like he was included in the baby thing. But now he's like, nah, do your men die again? Or do you die? He's always giving this man an ultimatum. Kill off my men? Yeah. That's what many people would pick. If he doesn't pick his men, oh my God. Oh my God. Now, now, last thing I'm gonna pause for, right? Because I'm gonna pause the holic right now. Um, if he chooses to kill himself, he would be the best exam example for his men to be good. So, technically, it is a win-win, right? That's assuming his men become good and don't go down the dark path of, uh, even after he sacrificed himself for them. Easy overpopulation, saving myself. <laughs> Oh my god. The monster cute in me saying this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's wild. He actually just chose to kill his crew. Oh my god, he really just chose that. I mean, he's fair to do so. I said that. <laughs> I paused and told you guys why he's fair to do so, but he really did that. Yeah, it's UG's chat. I don't think he's having a good ending. I'm not gonna lie. He's probably gonna end up dying. This isn't the story of a hero, dog. It's changed. It's changed drastically. This is the story of a fallen hero. God dang it. God dang it. Was he ever a hero to begin with, though? Because he could have not went into the Trojan War and killed those people for revenge. And he could have just took it to the chest and been the better person. So he's probably a villain from the start. A monster from the start. Dang, Chad, I kind of want to keep going. I'm not going to lie after that. After that, I kind of want to keep going. Do we keep going, Chad? Second in command is brother in law. Oh my god. GG's. So that's Penelope's brother? Is what you're saying? Because if so, GG's. You're not winning that situation, I don't think. Fire animatic, by the way. I think we're going to move on to the next one. What is a Penelope? <laughs> what the heck, man? What is Freckle on? Right, we're going to go on to the next one. I got to keep going, man. Sorry, got too good. I'm locked in.